everyone. This is Teacher Mark. I'm your teacher, a science teacher. Our lesson for today is all about temperature affects the state of matter. So before we proceed, read and answer the following question. With mat when matter changed into another form that is different from its original composition, which is it? Chemical change or physical change? Yes, you are correct. That is chemical change. Next. When solid materials are bent, pressed, cut, and pounded, they may change in size and shape. Chemical change or physical change? Yes, you are correct. The correct answer is physical change. <clears throat> then tell if the change happening to this material is physical or chemical change. Sourring of milk? Yes, it's chemical change. Slicing of bread? Yes, is it physical change? Next, baking of bread? Chemical change because you need to bake. Rusting of nail is chemical change. Fermenting of grapes, chemical change. And la lastly is mixing of elements is chemical change. So, kindly watch this uh, short video clip. Okay, in this video, the girl presenting how to boil a water. Okay, he put a what? Uh, he put a, he put a pitcher of water into that tinware, and then after that, he turned the burner high and placed the pot on the burner. After that. The water boiled in the pot, then air comes out from that water. The first steam, that's what you call steam. It will form between the water and the lid. Next, the bubbles will appear around. Final bubbles will become larger and the surface of the water will become hotter and hotter. Analyze what happened to the water when it placed in the stove. On the stove, yes, the water is boiling. Do you think what will happen to the water after you boil it? Okay, good. The water, the water will become hotter and it will uh, give off a steam or the hot air. Do you think why there is a smoke or fog during after you boil the water? It is because the water boils and then it turns into steam. So, our lesson for today is all about temperature affects state of matter. But before we proceed to our main topic, we need to determine first what are the three states of matter. The first one is the solid. Solid has a definite shape as well as mass and volume. So, solid example of solid is the things that you, uh, for example, you can touch like the solid materials, books, pencil, computer, face mask, okay, uh, the face shield. So, those are the solid materials. And then, the next state of matter is liquid and in giving its shape, it will conform to the shape of its container. Example of this, the number one example of this is water, the soy sauce, the vinegar, and the soft drinks, and etc. The last state of matter is gas, has no definite shape and volume. 
So this example of this is the sting that you saw a while ago in water boiling when the water was boiled. And then also you you may see gas like the smoke that came from the cars and the factory and all of it. So those are the three states of matter: solid, liquid, and gas. So these are the temperatures affect the state of matter. Let's analyze. Change of states. When it's it, as you see, solid is this. Okay? So, it will turn into gas through the process of sublimation. And then again, it will go back. If the gas turns into deposition, it will turn back into solid. Again, solid to gas, sublimation, gas to solid, deposition. While, in the other hand, solid will became or become a liquid through process of melting. And then also, in the vice versa, liquid will become a solid if it is in a freezing point. So, condensation, here about here, liquid to gas, it's boiling. As you may see a while ago, in the water boils. Uh, it forms a steam, which is that steam is an example of gas. Therefore, liquid to gas is to the process of boiling. And then, gas will change into liquid through the process of condensation. So, with the presence of it, the blue one, and then without the presence of it is the green one. As you may see, so it means that these arrows is with the presence of it. Example, Gas will become solid to the process of deposition and with the presence of the heat, while solid will become gas to the process of sublimation without the presence of it. And same thing with liquid to solid, which is freezing, which is green, without presence of heat, and then melting with the presence of the heat. And on the other hand, liquid to gas Boiling with the presence of heat, as you may see, the stove as uh, producing heat so that it's enough for the liquid to boil and form a steam. And also, in other hand, gas will turn into liquid through the process of condensation. So, change in matter. The first process, melting. Melting is a liquefaction, is the change of solid material to liquid when there is a presence of or addition of heat. So in short, this is a ice, ice cubes, a solid, with the heat or heat presence, it will turn into water or in liquid. That is the presence of the, with the presence of the heat, it will turn into liquid. Okay, next. Next is freezing. Freezing or solidification is the change of liquid material to solid when heat removed. So there is no heat presence. So for example, we have a glass of water, water liquid without heat, without heat or heat absence, it will turn into ice cube. But teacher, uh, we know that water will become ice if we if we put it, if we put the glass of water inside the refrigerator, yes, we all know that in the refrigerator there is no heat with that. Okay? So it will turn into solid. Next. Next state of matters. The next state is evaporation, it is a change of liquid. This change of liquid material into gas. That's what you call water vapor. So this is what I'm talking about to you last time that we talked about the water cycle. So again, this is the water or the ocean or the sea water, which is liquid, with the heat presence came from the sun, it will turn into 
steam. Okay, so water vapor po. Like what we see or what we witnessed a while ago in the video. The, those uh, water vapor is also called a gas and it will form a cloud if there is many water vapor came through. So that is the process of evaporation. This is the counterpart of the evaporation, which is condensation. Condensation is the change of water vapor or gas into liquid water when it is cooled or when heat is removed. Okay, so for example, this is the steam that is a gas, water vapor, without heat presence. If there is no heat, uh, heat on that cloud, it, those water vapor will change into liquid. So, therefore, as you may see, as I said to you in the water cycle, if the clouds cooled, it will be cold, or if we, if we have without the, heat ab uh, without the heat, or there is any heat absence, those clouds will full of water, and then sooner or later, it will turn into precipitation or the process of raining. Therefore, it will turn into water. Okay? So that is the process of condensation. Next. The next is sublimation. What is sublimation? It is the change of solid to gas without passing through the liquid form. Okay, so what is that, teacher? For example, I have here a ice, dry ice, solid. The dry ice, when you put it in the water, uh, uh, with the put it in the hot water, uh, under something, and then there is an heat abs, uh, it presence, it will turn into just like this. Steam or the dry ice, it will turn. Teacher, where we should uh, see like that okay we can see the steam here in the gas where you doing some of the uh you know the movies you may see in the horror films they using dry ice there so that they can form a something fog okay as you may see and the last and the last temperatures affect the state of matter is deposition what is deposition Gas can also change into solid without passing through liquid phase. It means that even though it is not passing through the liquid phase, such as snow forming the clouds, so therefore there it will change into solid. So for example, here this is the clouds, water vapor, without the heat absence or with, without the heat or the heat absence, it will turn into snow. As you may see is as we experience at Japan, but not in the Philippines. So, remember, matter undergoes physical or chemical change. Change takes place when heat is added or removed. When N when a new sentence. So therefore, that's it for now. Thank you for listening, Teacher Mark. Hope you understand it.